Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered, as we explore the Fendrana Drifts and try to figure out what I'm even capable of doing here. Clearly it has something to do with the platforming that's set up around, but I don't really have the ability to jump to half of these platforms. Hmm. You see, I unlocked the door up there, but I can't get up there. I'd have to platform from over here. Up here. And... Hello. Ow. Well, no need to hurt me, I was just passing by. And I'm failing a simple jump repeatedly. Welcome to Metroid Prime, everybody. Eric doesn't know how to platform to save his life. Okay. Now I can get over to this door. And I can't get anywhere else, I just don't have the ability to platform well enough. Hello. You are a red version of something I've already seen. Scatter, Bomu. Pulsing tendrils of energy extend from its body, can only be harmed by electrical energy. Possible to avoid engaging by rolling into the morph ball and slipping between their energy streams. And they aren't pulled towards my charge beam like others are. Yep. Nope. Absolutely messed up. But another one. At least I got past that one fine. Also, they result in electrical interference with my visor, if they're close. Um, what is the purpose of this small room? Scan visor indicates nothing. Oh, what are you? Baby Shigoth, Glacial Predator. I shell protects vulnerable dorsal area. Young Shigoths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which serves to protect a layer of vulnerable flesh. With this being their only weak point, the baby Shigoths will turn quickly in order to not allow predators to strike at their backs. Powerful hunters, they fire bursts of ultra-cold gas at potential prey, then feast on their frozen victim. Ow. I wasn't expecting the second one to pop up. It seems like my missiles will crack their casing. Slowly, though. Maybe it's not worth fighting these things. Wow. That is vulnerable black flesh. Hey you. Dash around. Pew. Oh, that wasn't good enough. That was. That was. And down it goes. Hmm. Not really worth the fight. That's way too many missiles wasted on a simple enemy. Do I need heat for that? I need heat for that. Hmm. I wonder when I'll obtain... Well, something ultra hot like that. Oh, that's... that is five missile ammo. I've already scanned that. In fact, I think I've already scanned all of the missile ammos and health and all of that. 
just gonna ignore those, because why bother wasting a missile on them? Why is this part of that roof there? Just gonna walk on by. Hang on. Just saw a weird thing on the map. Looks almost like a morph ball area. Yep. Right up in there. Ow. Good news! I found the way into the morph ball area. I can't do it yet. Where do I obtain this dang spider ball? Oh, what are you? Ow. Ice burrower. Burrower adapted to freezing climates. Okay, I guess I know what that spider thing I didn't scan in the last episode was. Same thing, but not ice themed. How am I not hitting it when it pops up? Okay, fine, I'll just dodge them. They're too much of a pain to hit. They actually might be, uh, like other things in the area, requiring missiles to take out. And I don't want to waste my missiles on them. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna go around that noise. Um, hmm. Oh, new type of door. Ah. Nope, I'm not here for a fight. Could you move? Thanks. How? Did that thing jump up here or? No, it's ice breath just has range. Okay. Well, uh, Chozo Law. As the great poison reaches even further into the planet, we Chozo begin to feel the gnawings of despair. Before it is too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain this darkness. At its heart we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by twelve artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder, though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple and the cipher itself prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life? I don't know, maybe. Don't ask me, I'm just the bounty hunter that has to deal with the problems you left behind. Hmm. Seems like I'll have to go past the- Ow! I didn't realize those were projectiles. I thought your ice breath was just limited to, uh, being- well, misty breath in front of them, like that guy just did. But no, apparently they can, uh, projectile as well. And down it goes. Missile door? Oh, hello. Ow. It's always a pain to go... ...to try and time those properly, I guess. Where am I going? Uh... Down here, I guess? 
And then... Okay, I definitely can't get over there. Um... I could try going along that ground level. Also, hello, lore. Hmm. So many creatures suffer beneath the blight upon the land, and we, Chozo, are no exception. But for all our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to, a, to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish the darkness we've contained. Even so, our vigilance will forever remain. We believe that on some far-off day a saviour will come and continue what we have begun. For that saviour we will leave our ancient weapons and armour. The soul who can gather them will be the entrusted one. The only being who can reverse the evil that grows here. Huh, a being capable of uh, obtaining Chozo equipment and such? Can you please hit? You can. Whoop. No, you don't. Come on. One more. Exposed back. Down you go. Give me that health. I kind of wish it was missiles, but... Eh, I took some damage to the electric dudes on the way in. And this, platform realignment successful. Oh. Cool. I hope I can actually do whatever's over there. I hope I can actually hit the jump button when I intend to. Yeah, that was actually on me. That, that wasn't... I'm not gonna blame the game on that one. I just straight up pressed jump way too late. Oh, these are about to unalign. Ooh, Morph Ball ability. Is it the Spider Ball? It has to be, right? No, Super Bomb. Boost Ball. Oh, that gets me up half pipes. While a Morph Ball, press and hold L or B to charge the ball. Release after charging it to get a speed boost. Okay. And here, it's just demonstrating example of a place to use that ability, which will be incredibly useful to me. Whoop. Also, I don't know why I pronounced incredibly like that. But yes, it's a much easier way to get back to the start than trying to parkour on box edges that it's not designed for. And now. Ugh. I really hate these. They're ever so slightly too fast for it to be easy timing, TM. It's not hard timing, but it is, you're gonna have to be patient and time it timing. You can't just run by it. Hang on. Whoop. And nope. I'm getting out of here. Don't care about those things. Whoa. Wasn't expecting them to still be shooting at that point. Ow. I forgot that charging weapons sucks those guys towards me. I was just trying to pick up the missiles from a distance. Oops. Wait. Where am I? Oh, I'm back out the start. Ridley. I'm going to kill that space pirate. Again. 
But anyway. Was this actually... Huh. No, I can't... There wasn't a way to get up to that door, was there? Wait a minute. This stalactite looks weak. Hanging rock structure appears to have a weak spot near the base. Ah, uh, dislodge it from the ceiling point. Right? Huh? S some stalactites can be dislodged from the ceilings, allowing them to be used as platforms. Yeah, no, I get that, but... Why this no work? Do I need something bigger? Oh well. Anyway, I had to backtrack down through here and everything to get to the, uh... Wait, no, that was the spider ball thing, not the boost ball. Yeah. I can't make that jump, can I? No. I'm going to have to return to somewhere where I can use the boost ball now I've found it. There are two places I know of from memory where I can use it. Those being the, uh, uh, Chozo Ruins near the entry and, uh, Actually, the Tower on Overworld, just outside the entry to the ruins. So, you know, both of them back near the start of the game there. The quickest way to get to the ruins from here would be going down left side there. And I'm gonna do some absolute nonsense. Yep, this hurts. A lot. Ow. Give me the health. Thank you. Man, I really shouldn't have done that that way. And I scanned the regular borrower. Great. So, now I haven't missed any scans. That's certainly something. Just gonna get rid of those without stepping in lava, preferably. You know, my preference was not to do that thing I just did. But I did kinda do it anyway. So that's, uh, problematic. Ah, well. Wait, that's just save room. You know what? Maybe the other way would have been quicker. Oh well. Yeah, cause I have to platform this way. God damn it. Okay, finally. The first place we can use the boost ball is... Oh. Helps if I line it up right. And I had lined it up right, but Samus said no. You know what? That works for me. That missile capacity upgrade... And then, place number two that I can use this. 
because I forgot about it earlier, but have since remembered. Uh... I don't remember, does the boost ball area in this room just lead to the, uh, spider ball area? Because I know there is a spider ball area to get to the door on the other side of the room. But is that all the boost ball is for? No, boost ball is for something else here. That's not the boost. Whoop. That was purely accidental. Let's try that again. Boost and boost and boost and I'm on this ledge now. That leads into here for a missile expansion. Don't know why my screen went black for it, but that's fine. And across the way there might be, uh, what the, uh, yeah, this one leads to the spider ball part. Okay. Now, one more half pipe to go. And that one is probably progression. So I'll do that one in the next episode. Bye.